Hello and welcome guys to this interesting session of ASP.NET Core 7.0. In this session, we are going to implement Entity Framework Core Cloud Operations using Store Procedure. In my previous session, I demonstrate how to use how to implement Cloud Operation using ADA.NET with Store Procedure. If you missed that session, I will give the video description link. Please check it out. Also, I have already created the entire framework for so many videos. I will give the link on the video description. If you want, you can check it out. Before starting the session, guys, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon for future notification. Let's get started. So, for today's session, I am going to use Visual Studio 2022, create a new project. I am going to create a web API project and I'm giving EF core cloud demo okay click on next for now i no need of https but keeping open api support and controller click on create and in my database if you missed my previous area alternate sessions so i have a table called select asterisk from tvl comments so this, this is the table let's delete all the data So not done. So this table is now blank. I have created a store procedure using an extra parameter action ID int. If action ID equal to one, then I am inserting. If action ID is two, I am updating the record as per the auto ID or the primary key. If action ID is three, I am deleting the record here. And if action ID is four, I am selecting all the record order by auto ID descending. Now next task is we have done our applications now we need to scaffold our database to our application for that we need two particular actually a new gate package one is entity framework core dot tools so i will directly go to a visual studio tools New get package manager. I'm opening package manager console. So here I will write install package Microsoft Entity Framework Core dot tools. Press enter. Okay, it will install. Okay, it got installed successfully. Next thing is we need to install Entity Framework Core dot SQL server or SQL server. Yeah, it got installed now now we have to scaffold so if you are following my previous session we can scaffold like this scaffold hyphen db context next the connection string which is the user id password and trusted server has to be equal to true and dash o model the models folder will create automatically by scaffolding entity framework code so here i am going to write the copy paste the same command scaffold command enter so build started Guys, within 10 minutes, I can do all insert, update, delete, select in a single API, endpoint, and single store procedure. It, it is a very interesting and time saving up demonstration. So, our new get packages installed, scaffold also completed. Now, go to the, our solution explorer. We can see just to refresh the okay. Just wait. Okay, scaffold is continuous. Okay, it's now completed. So go to solution explorer. Here is a model is created. We have TBL comment, which is our table name, and our DB context also created. Done. So our entity framework implementation is done. Now let's go to controller folder and add our own controller, which would be controller, which would be web API controller. And I'm adding this one to here. So it will be ef crowd demo crowd controller okay now or i'm 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 using comments so i will put comment data controller so my controller is created i no need of this route i will route my own on the endpoint level 
so my route will be only comment and it will be a http post method now i will write state for a public async task i action result comment so here i will pass the tbl comment let's say obj and one more parameter i will pass int sum this action will determine whether it will be a insert update delete or select statement so straight forward i am writing like this if action equal to equal to one okay let's put a try catch catch any kind of exception we can catch okay now we can give throw here yeah. now go to try block we can directly write if action if action equal to one oh sorry <laughs> okay if action equal to one return okay and command set okay so same thing i will write for else if how i can do else if else if nice else in case of action equal to 2 i have comment updated in case of action equal to 3 comment deleted action action equal to 4 then show data okay i will do this one show data or else if action is not specify h for the format then we can directly show invalid input done so our api endpoint is created controller created now let's create our db context which is this one automatically created after the uh, scaffold command context equal to new db context done show this is store procedure store procedure name will be usp aed comments usp i normally do stand for user store procedure r edit delete comment okay so in case of action equal to one i can direct the right context dot what it is a coding context dot database dot execute sql execute sql what it will normally text actually it takes a formatable string so how to create a formatable string formatable string factory dot create here i am writing the sql statement execute exec dbo my store procedure name and here i am adding my parameter straight forward so parameter straight forward 0 1 2 3 4 5 so i let's see action is 0 1 2 3 4 5 so i have done so action first one auto id will be 0 inserting so i didn't pass i post 0 full name mobile number email id message same thing i can go for do or update so how update will work here in case of update, I will pass my ID, obj dot auto ID, right? In case of delete also, I will pass same thing, obj dot auto ID. So it will be update and delete by that auto ID primary key. But returning data is little bit tricky. For that, I can directly write for result equal to new list of tbl comment right next result equal to i give here slightly different here what we are doing in instead of delete context or database dot execute sql here as i am returning to tbl comment i am direct context or tbl comment that from sql here i am passing the type what kind of type it's a tbl comment now straight for i am going to create a formatable string 
same thing action and remaining as it is right so now run the application guys look single api how much line up for this one i think from 17 to 51 okay insert of the delete select great right It will take few minutes first time execution guys one more update to the part table please wish me so here is comment guys before going to the testing section let me show you something what i have doing in my other things i have started one more channel which is sunrider see the channel i say motor vlogging and other stuffs so i hope you will like please do subscribe only 189 subscribers last three months i created please do subscribe i put in this uh, moto vlogging videos and some sorts informative sorts also please do subscribe okay come to our part here is comment let's try it out so for action equal to one i'm giving one and i'm not giving auto id i'm giving my name mobile number my email id and my message so guys please subscribe it will encourage me at a lot now click on execute come down let the comment saved now go to the sql server let's see right so one let insert one more data agent my name is ranjan so i put ranjan also now execute yeah it got safe now go to db no need to go to db let's execute action number four which is our select statement let's execute come down show data okay we did something wrong let's see what i, I did wrong. okay i need to return this result actually i forgot to remove okay done now i am running stop it Run. Try it out. Action number four. Let's execute. So you can see data is coming. Now I want to update this auto ID number six. So how can I update auto ID number six? I'll just give this one auto ID six, and I want to action equal to four. Sorry, action equal to two. And I'm putting the same to string string. Let's see. Execute. Go to DB. Select. It got changed. I want to delete. How 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 to delete? Just put the action ID equal to three. Execute. See. I hope you like this session, guys. If you do, give me a like and share this video with your friends and please 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 subscribe to my other channels sunrider 54 thank you very much